All right, on uh, today's episode of Get Out and Wrench, we're going to be cutting spot welds out on this uh, Brad Sport for my 91 Camaro. I'm going to use some brown scuff pads on my die grinder to clean up the spot welds here so I can see them better before I drill them out. So we'll start with those for now and I'll grab my drill. I've been using two different methods. I've been using this half inch drill bit with just, you know, your regular, regular drill and drilling right down the middle of them. Another method would be to use your spot weld cutter and a center punch. I actually can't find my center punch, so I'm not going to use the center punch, but I'll show you how they both work. It would help if my battery was charged on that one. So that one's pretty straightforward. You just line it up in the center and drill through it. It's not ideal for something you want to reuse. So I'm going to use the spot weld cutter for most of the rest of these. So basically this, you would want to make a punch in the center of your spot weld here. And then this little nub on the end goes in there and it, it compresses in as you push down on it, so like that. And then, you just want to go slow, because if it grabs, it's going to kick the whole drill. And then you don't want to go all the way through all the panels, just the one. And then there's a couple different options for splitting your seam after you've drilled out each piece. You can use one of these. It's called a seam buster. That's the part number. You just look that up. And you should be able to find this. They're not that expensive. <laughs> or you can get a blade for your air hammer. Uh, those are the two methods I like to use. I can do this without... Knocking my camera over here. But as you can see, that then goes in and splits the seam there. So I'll do the rest of these and we'll be back with you. So we're going to move on to this side now, and we're going to do the same thing and grind these out so I can see the spot welds better, drill them out, split the seam, and then I will move to in here on both sides, and there's spot welds down here. I'll split those, and then I'll be able to get both frame rail pieces off, 
and then I will have the rat support as its own piece and I'll be able to mock it up on the car.